New at six, a local social worker claimed she was bitten by a pet mountain lion while on a home visit. Now neighbors are on edge. ABC 6's Jen French was in Pataskala today where it all happened. The Ohio town of Pataskala isn't just home to 10,000 people. A mountain lion happens to live on Cleveland Road and locals aren't sure how they feel about their neighbor. It shocks me that they are allowed to have that big an animal um, in city, within city limits. A Lincoln County caseworker was sent to the hospital after checking on a family and their exotic pet Monday afternoon. Cindy Robson was visiting Evelyn Varney Shaw's house to see if it was safe for three-year-old twin girls. After running her hand along the cat's cage, the cat bit her, and Robson ended up with the bloody pinky. Well, I'm skeptical because even if you know they're responsible, there's still accidents can happen. They can get out, so I'd be pretty scared. According to a police report, Shaw bandaged Robson's hand and apologized. Robson then drove herself to the hospital for the bite to be looked at. I just don't think anybody needs to have exotic animals at their home. Leave it to the zoos and the professionals. No charges were filed because Ohio's new exotic animal bill doesn't go into effect until September. In a written report, Shaw promised the caseworker to euthanize the animal so she could keep her twin nieces. I think it's really kind of sad just because that mountain lion will never have a chance in the wild because of how it was raised. In Pataskala, Jen French, ABC 6 News. Now we tried to talk with Shaw and the victim. According to a police report, Shaw said her lion didn't have teeth. She also owns a monkey and two African cats. When the new exotic animal bill goes into effect this fall, current owners will have to get permits and liability insurance to keep their pets.